Have you ever heard of the 39 Skeptics? This show is a classic Hitchcock story. A intriguing spy story um, peppered in with wacky goofball comedy. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time, so he becomes the wrong man for this thing. Good! Wrong man accused of a terrible crime and on the run from bad people, but injected with just the silliest sense of humor possible. I play Clown One, so in other words, about 24 different characters. All right, sir. Quite right, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. I play Clown Number Two, who plays half of the various characters. Excuse me, Constable. Got the West End murder yet? Yes. We'll catch him, sir. Don't you worry. Oh yes, don't so you You're just going through this range of characters. Switching accents, voices. Let us know, sir. Oh, yes. All board, all board. Fail edition. Oh, wait, wasn't he just a Scottish man and now he's a proper English lady? Keep your eyes peeled, won't you, sir? Oh, yes, I will. Don't forget now, sir. No, I won't, Constable. Oh, Mr. Haggai, how do you need me? I like shows that are intelligently funny. And that's, that's this show. My character gets involved with a very sultry German woman named Annabella Schmidt. In Ward. You wish to be in Ward. So there's a whole sequence at the end where I and Alicia Klein are handcuffed to each other. It's one of the best shows I've ever worked on. And every time I come in, I laugh as much as I did the last day. I have never laughed so hard in any rehearsal process. You don't have to be a fan of Hitchcock <laughs> to enjoy the show. It's the sort of show that anyone can enjoy, and if you're a Hitchcock fan, there are plenty of things that you'll just love about it that they're just hinted at little bits. It's just been so much fun and so funny, and I've just laughed so much doing this. Find something to do, you bloody fool. Something mindless and trivial. Something utterly pointless. Something, I've got it. A visit to the theater. That should do the trick.